In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up new amenities and amenity groups in Building Link. This function is available to employees with Management and Security Officer authority. Start by selecting Settings on the left menu, then Amenity Reservations. This page shows all active amenities. Existing amenities can be edited and inactive amenities can be shown with the option at the top of the page. Select Amenity Groups at the top of the page to set up a reservation frequency limit to be applied across several amenities. Click Add New Group, then enter a group name and set up how often the amenities can be reserved per unit or per user. For this example, our building has two tennis courts and each unit can have three tennis court reservations per one week. Once any groups are added, select the Amenities tab at the top of the page, then Add New Amenity. Enter details to the Basic Info section. The default status is Active, and this can be adjusted to Inactive if you don't want this amenity to be available to reserve yet, or to remove an existing amenity. Enter a name. Upload one or two images for the amenity. This looks best on the resident site if the image is used a square or in landscape orientation. A document can also be uploaded. If this amenity is part of a group, select it from the drop down. Scroll down to the Reservation Options section. Set who can place a reservation. The options are staff only, all owners and residents, current residents only, or owners only. If your building has locations set up, you'll be able to restrict bookings to certain parts of the building. Choose if residents can see reservations approved or requested by other units. If this is enabled, they'll be able to see when the amenity is already booked before requesting a time. If you allow the residents to see requests for other units, choose if they should also be able to see the unit number. If this amenity can only be used by one party at a time, leave the next option on No, do not allow overlapping requests. If more than one person or group could use this amenity at the same time, select Yes. Then specify how many at a time can book. Enter any instructions for this amenity. These are shown to the resident once they've selected an amenity to request a booking for. To require agreement to any rules or conditions, use the option to add a liability waiver. This can be presented as a checkbox or require the resident to type the word yes. The checkbox option is easier for the residents to use. If you're going to use this option, enter a title and some text. Select if the reservation requires management approval and specify how long it should take for the system to automatically decline a request if it hasn't been approved. Leave this blank if you don't want any requests to automatically decline. Email notifications can be sent to the default address from your settings or any other email address as entered. Scroll down the page to complete the availability section. If this amenity is linked to a group, the group limit can be applied. Otherwise, specify if there is no limit or a maximum number of reservations per unit or per user for the selected unit of time. Specify how far into the future an amenity can be reserved. For example, residents might only be able to make reservations that fall within the next 30 days. You can also allocate specific dates. This option is often used to manage events like fire safety or pre-settlement inspections. Set how far in advance a reservation needs to be requested. If management approval is required, this is often set to 24 or 48 hours. Select if users can set their own start and end times within the available hours or if the reservation is for a fixed period of time. The availability grid will update to match the option selected. Enter the days and times the amenity is available. Using a blackout time allows the amenity to be unavailable at certain times. This is often used to block out the lunch period or a time when the amenity is closed for cleaning. Below this, specify if multi-day reservations are allowed, and if so, any limit to apply. Start and end times are displayed in the selected increments. Enter a default duration and specify if users can make a longer reservation, and if so, if there is a maximum. 
Once these details have been added, select Save. Check out our other videos for more tips on using Building Link.